We're comparing the Shark Stratos Cordless against the Tinoco Pure One S11. They're kind of similar in price. Let me tell you the things that are the same and different. I've got these both. So first out, they both have removable batteries. And they're both gonna run about 40 minutes or so on a single charge in the eco mode or the automatic mode, the most economical mode. They both have HEPA filtration, which is really important if you have pets in your house and you wanna keep the small fine particles down and you wanna keep them inside the canister, which is super important. That's why a HEPA filter is really important because it does keep a good sealed unit like this is going to keep all of the allergens inside here and not out in your room. So you can tell I've been vacuuming up a lot of cat hair because I've got cats in my house. To clean the filter, it's pretty simple. You just pop this thing out and what you can do is you just run this under tap water you should do this about every 30 days or so to make sure that you're having optimal performance. I probably do need to clean this out. This also has something called iLoop technology, which I'll demonstrate in just a second. It is really cool and it's really helpful. So the Shark also has a HEPA filter. There's that pesky cat hair again. Canister comes off like this. And you can see the HEPA filter down here. It's a two part HEPA filter like so. Again, you just want to run this under water every 30 days, let it dry out for about 24 hours. You've also got a metal filter, which is inside the canister there too. It's a little bit harder to clean this one, I will admit. The Tinoco comes with far more accessories than the Shark does. So you have this pet hair tool, this sort of furniture tool. It's pretty easy to clean the head when you need to. You just pop this out like this. It's not anti-tangle, but it doesn't really matter. It does a very good job and vacuuming up pet hair from sofas, couches, furniture, all that kind of stuff. You've got a dusting brush like this, which is good for dusting tables, hard surfaces, countertops, stuff like that. Of course, you've got a crevice tool and you have this unique filter cleaning tool, which you hook up to your vacuum, you wash it out, it pops in here like this, and then this helps dry it out a little bit quicker. Very handy. On the Shark, you get a crevice tool and a dusting tool you don't get a pet hair tool. Let's compare the heads, and I think this is where the Shark actually has a big advantage over the Tinoco. Now, you can get the Tinoco in two different configurations, one with this standard style of brush roll or head, and then you can get a second one which is really good on hardwood. This is very, very good on carpet, but uh, you should look at the package that has the two different uh, heads on it, because that is a better package to get. So you basically just have a simple rotating brush roll. You've got some LED lights on it, which are pretty bright. As I said, this is pretty stiff, so this is really good on carpet, but on hardwood, this particular head is not that good. But there's a downside to that. I'll talk about that in a second. This is the Shark. You get a duo clean power brush roll. And what you've got here is sort of a soft, fluffy style thing in the front and then you have one with fins in the back. You've got a hard fin, like a carbon fiber fin, and then you've got some bristles over here which are a little bit softer. And so this is really good for your carpet. This definitely gets dirt out of carpet. And this is really good on hardwood. This sort of polishes the hardwood. And this is anti-tangle. You can see this comb along here. This is really good for keeping the pet hair out of this whole system. Very, very effective. And you've got a trick here too. This has an odor neutralizer technology. It's a little filter basically that pops out. It smells a little bit like laundry. And you just put it back in. Of course, you can get replacements pretty easily. It pops in like this. And you can adjust how much odor neutralizing that you want from maximum to minimum. And if you don't want any at all, you can basically just take it out. Not that big a deal. It does make your house smell a little bit nicer. This is really good on carpet. This is really good on hardwood, but this head is quite a bit heavier, so it's not as good at, on stairs as the Tinoco is. But let's do a quick little bit of vacuuming. This is much lighter, and the overall vacuum is much lighter. The Tinoco is just a lighter vacuum, so it's easier to carry around your house. They both get about 40 minutes of life on the single battery charge. Canister size is pretty similar, and I also forgot there is a second filter over here too. You can buy these to replace them. Super handy. But let's do some vacuuming and let me show you what's really cool about this display. When you're vacuuming with the Tinoco, it has something called iLoop technology, which is a dust sensor which lives inside the head and it detects small particles. And when it finds that you are going over an area with a lot of dirt, a lot of dust on it, it does a couple things. It ramps up the suction and it increases the uh, rotation rate of the brush roll and that makes it more effective in those areas and you can see that the LED display moves from blue to red 
to show that you're vacuuming up more dirt and then it moves back. So the color tells you how clean or dirty that part of the floor is. It also helps preserve battery life. The Shark has a simpler display and it has something that is actually quite similar. It's called Clean Sense Technology. It essentially does the same thing when it detects that there is Whoa. excess dirt, hair, etc. on your carpet, on your hardwood. It's going to ramp up the suction. It's going to increase uh, the, the brush roll rotation rate and it's going to preserve your battery. So same kind of thing. The display on this is not quite as fancy as it is on the Tinoco, but it's still pretty effective.